Hello everyone, I am Dr. Nachiket Dubre. I am a consultant gastroenterologist working in Pune Hospital for last 10 to 12 years and have experience of 10 years in therapeutic endoscopy. Today we are going to talk about a common problem which the patient come to us that is a chronic constipation or constipation at large. The common symptoms of constipation in our society is incomplete evacuation or patient not feeling completely empty and also the frequency of bowel movements are not as satisfactory as normal. What I'll tell you is the what are the types of constipation, what are the things you a patient of constipation should look for, what are the associated symptoms and associated medication he is on. So all these things a, a layman person should understand and get into the habit of knowing. I will categorize the constipation into two to three categories. One is patient have slow transit constipation that is uh, there are no sensation of uh, having a bowel movements these patients intestines are slow and they do not propel the uh, food material or the feces ahead to uh, get evacuated by the rectum some patients have sensation of uh, getting evacuated but has lot of difficulty in evacuation they feel there is some uh, amount of obstruction at the evacuation point or the anal canal and some patients have constant incomplete evacuation or constant feeling of going for uh, the toilet. So these are the three categories broadly of patients who come to us. So each category has a different uh, level of uh, evaluation, different tests uh, need to be ordered and the treatment also differs. So the first category of patients when patients do not have sensation or they have slow transit constipation. So these kind of patients uh, will have more of a intake of fiber so that the bulk of the stools are more also they can uh, we have now new medicines which can give rise to increased motility of this uh, intestine which can give rise uh, give them good relief in their symptoms the second category of patients where they feel obstructed they have to sit for a longer period of time and they have to really sometimes put fingers and evacuate their bowel these are called the pelvic floor dysfunction patients where their pelvic floor muscles do not act in coordination and do not have the uh, coordinated muscle movement to evacuate. So these kind of patients will require anorectal manometry and then we can categorize them as whether they have pelvic floor dysfunction and the treatment will differ accordingly. The third category of patients which feel always um, uh, evacuation problems or they feel incompletely evacuated will require more of a laxative counseling and things like that. The most important aspect of constipation, whether this constipation is just functional or there is some obstructive lesion in the intestine. So for that, uh, we recommend to do a colonoscopy, which will uh, get us to the intestinal lumen and we can see the whole of the small, large intestine and part of small intestine by doing a colonoscopy. And we can rule out there are the, there are no obstructive lesions or there are no uh, any lesions which are can be termed as malignant there are no polyps etc so i would recommend that anybody who has a constipation which is not getting relieved by medications for more than a month should get evaluated by an expert and according to the experts advice should get evaluated by either doing colonoscopy and erectile manometry etc the most important and uh, troublesome symptom of constipation which is associated with it is the blood in the stool whether this patient is having constipation and also having blood in the stool should get immediately evaluated and should not wait for uh, uh, the symptom to resolve on its own. So this is uh, largely about constipation. If you have any queries, you can write in the comment section and we'll try to address these queries as much as possible. Thank you.